there would not be national radio or national television. There would not be networks if it weren't for the people in the St. Paul, Minnesota's and the Peoria's and the Tacoma's who took the risk and built these stations and carried the network and thereby made the network national, which gave, made it possible for the Bob Hopes and the Jack Bennies and the Bing Crosby's to become really big stars. It, it was, you know, you couldn't do it with New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. You needed the whole country. And it's the people like my dad who took the risk, really stuck their neck out, that made this happen. Now, the relationship in that regard to General Sarnoff was General Sarnoff's complete knowledge and understanding that he had to have an affiliate base to have a network. Therefore, you see, why did they build, why did RCA start, uh, why did it start uh, the NBC radio network? Because they wanted to sell radios. Why did they start the NBC television network? They wanted to sell TV sets not realizing at the time that TV itself would become a much bigger business than the manufacturing business. And RCA manufactured transmitters, and they manufactured microphones, and they manufactured everything you needed to, have, to, to build a radio or a TV station. General Sarnoff, together with people like my dear dad, made it possible for there to be a, to be a national network because there was a local station infrastructure, and it's a local station which is the backbone of the networks. And some people, the networks still kind of seem to lose sight of that. 